Hey y'all, welcome to the garage. Uh, this is the work we did. It's uh, Friday morning. We're uh, was gonna go get it welded up today, but it, it's rained out there. I don't know if you can see that out there. It rained. It looks like it's gonna rain some more. The forecast is calling for more rain. I don't want the go kart to get wet, um, and we got plenty of time yet. We got three weeks or so, so uh, we notched some tubes. We, we notch the old bumper and fit a tube in. Um, it's ugly. We don't like it. It's aesthetically ugly. And, and if anyone knows me, they know that uh, it's a fashion show out there. But this, is, this will be temporary. Even though we weld it on, um, we're testing, right, in a couple weeks. Uh, so we'll get the radiator in, like we said, um, in a different configuration. And we'll compare the numbers, even though the weather will be cooler. Um, we have data from cooler weather. And uh, we'll know if we don't see numbers down in, say, the 120 degree range after 10 laps of running in 50, 55, 58, even 60 degree weather, it, the water temperature should be way down compared to where it was at 160 or 170. So um, that's the test. That's what we do. We, we're gonna, that's what the testing's for. So um, if it all works out, then we, we, we chop all this stuff off. We have Ed down in Georgia. Hey, Ed, how's it going? We'll have him bend us up a, a new bumper, and we'll get that back and, and get that in place. We'll make a, 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 a good permanent custom air box for the, uh, for the radiator if, if that worked out. And if not, then, you know, then we know what we need to do. I went down to the salvage place and looked at a couple radiators, and I don't think they hold the water volume that that one does. Even though they're two inches taller and two inches wider, they're not as thick. And the tubes, the cooling tubes, are not as large. And uh, it's one of the things I learned working with the engineer at CNR was uh, that has everything to do with how quickly these things exchange heat and, and, and cool off water, is the volume of water in the cooling portion of the radiator. Not the tanks, but the volume in the cooling part of it. And uh, those, those tubes and those aluminum radiators down here were very small and very thin front to back. So um, I don't think it would have, I don't think we would have gained anything by, by using uh, a bigger, wider radiator that wasn't as thick. So um, if anything, if that doesn't work, if that radiator there doesn't work, then we'll, I'll call, I'll get the CNR guy back on the horn and we'll get, uh, I'll get a little bit bigger core of the same type of material and uh, because you saw from inside the the nose cone in the earlier video we got plenty of room to make the radiator bigger so we'll, we'd use the same stuff and just make us up a new one and we'll do that after this test and uh, we'll get it ready to test in April God bless y'all um, hope everybody's well out there we're praying for all our friends and family praying for this country praying for the world that uh, everybody would just try to get along um, that's it. We'll uh, bring you some more after we get it welded and we start building up a little temporary box before we get to the test. And obviously, we'll bring you some video from the test. God bless you.